Good morning, everybody. I'm Mukta Atre. I'm a project senior project manager for the T10KT program, uh, which is being run at IIT Bombay. I'm really uh, grateful to Amal Jyoti and uh, Reverend Father Joes for inviting me here for this uh, workshop on research. Uh, I'm afraid I don't have uh, anything to uh, add to the research uh, discussions that are going on here, but I do have uh, something to tell you about uh, the uh, projects that are going on in IIT Bombay. And especially the ones that are uh, connected to uh, training teachers. I, I personally uh, am connected to the train 10,000 teachers, but there are other programs as well, which uh, in uh, some way or the other do uh, benefit uh, teacher colleagues across the country. So, I have titled my uh, talk Bridging Distances Across India and you will understand why I have said so. This is because uh, sitting in IIT Bombay, we have been connecting people from uh, Jammu Kashmir to Kerala to from uh, say Tripura to Gujarat across the country. So, we are really br building bridges across the country and uh, through our uh, program and uh, I will explain now how we uh, do this. Yeah. So, I will uh, start from the beginning absolutely of the project. Uh, it was a situation when there was a huge increase in the number of engineering colleges and the uh, students opting for engineering colleges across the country was growing phenomenally. And as you know, there is a lack of access of uh, good quality education and uh, there is a scarcity of opportunities for teachers as well as students from smaller institutes to gain uh, uh, any kind of closeness to any kind of good uh, learning material. And uh, so, this was the problem and uh, there was also a problem of synchronous delivery to a large number of uh, teachers across the country. We could uh, have workshops, but at a time a workshop could have only about uh, 30 to 35 uh, teachers in IIT Bombay and that we thought was a huge problem. So, uh, the project talk, talk to a teacher was uh, initiated and it was initiated in uh, December 2009 under the National Mission on Education through ICT by Professor uh, Fatak. And uh, at the beginning, we had a, a limited number of uh, institutes as our remote centers. We had, uh, we used to communicate only through the EDUSAT and the EDUSAT infrastructure as you all know is extremely expensive and also very bulky and it was not always possible for institutes to uh, have this facility in their college. And uh, therefore, uh, to uh, gain a wider view and uh, also uh, to have more number of participants, we opted for a view. A view uh, as you know, I, we are in fact at the moment communicating through a view. It is a learning, uh, it is a virtual classroom environment which has been uh, developed by Amrita University, uh, again under the national mission. So, we partnered with them and uh, our uh, number of remote centers grew across the country. Uh, so much so that uh, when the first phase finished in 2012, uh, we were asked by uh, the Ministry for Human Resources and Development to go into a second phase a much, much larger phase with a larger uh, amount of funds available to us. We partnered with Kharagpur, uh, IIT Kharagpur in the second phase and uh, I mean this is uh, part of our second phase and second phase is going to continue till 2015. So, what do we do? We, I have been talking about uh, training teachers, but exactly how do we do it? That is exactly what I am going to be uh, trying to explain to you all. Now, we conduct two week IST workshops on core engineering subjects for uh, teachers across the country to sort of uh, enhance their teaching skills, to brush up their knowledge, to uh, uh, enhance their uh, skills as such. And how do we go about doing it? we collect a sort of a common syllabus on a particular topic. For example, uh, let us take a topic like computer programming. 
Professor Fatak has taught that uh, topic from here for almost, uh, 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 he has taught it for three times from IIT Bombay. The faculty is always almost, uh, almost always from IIT Bombay, but now since we have partnered with IIT Kharagpur, uh, we also have courses which are uh, conducted by them. Our uh, workshops are a combination of asynchronous and synchronous delivery. The synchronous part comes where the uh, uh, workshop is transmitted through AVU from IIT Bombay and it is received at various centers across the country which we call the remote centers. Uh, teachers gather at these remote centers uh, to listen to the workshops, to participate in the workshops and there is also an uh, asynchronous uh, element in it and that is where uh, you have the lab sessions or uh, you also have the uh, assignments and uh, various group activities that uh, we encourage the teachers to do. And uh, our absolute uh, ultra special uh, selling point I would call here is the content which is generated, the uh, lectures are recorded, the assignments that the participants submit and uh, the uh, various lab sessions etcetera, all these are also uh, uh, recorded and these are later on after editing, they are released in the open source for free download. We encourage teachers to use this uh, content in their own classrooms and uh, add to the uh, already existing uh, repository of learning. We use uh, and encourage several uh, innovative teaching methods like the flip class uh, room or uh, the blended uh, uh, mode of uh, having a virtual uh, classroom, I will be talking about that a little later and also learning uh, management systems like uh, the uh, Moodle. Again, I will be talking about this a little later, but these are some of the uh, uh, what do you call the learning aids that we use in our workshops. Now, what are these workshops? Uh, the workshops as I have already said before, we, these are uh, workshops for teachers on core engineering uh, topics. So far we have conducted uh, 21 workshops, I am including uh, all the workshops since uh, 2009 and also those conducted by IIT Kharagpur. Uh, we, have, uh, uh, we have been uh, fortunate enough to include some uh, unusual courses like uh, a course on uh, free and uh, open uh, software uh, where uh, the participants had, uh, um, had uh, attended a five weekend workshop and that I think uh, worked very well for uh, people who are otherwise busy during the weeks. Uh, we also had a very uh, successful program on uh, solar photovoltaics which is uh, being introduced in uh, university curriculum as a regular subject and uh, for uh, writing effective uh, conference papers as well as a, another uh, successful program on research methods in educational technology. In fact, it was this uh, program uh, which had a phenomenal attendance of uh, almost uh, 8 to 9,000 teachers across the country, which led the uh, government to ask us to go into a second phase and that is where the nomenclature trained 10,000 teachers came up. Now, uh, our goal is to uh, target uh, almost 10,000 teachers at a time in a single workshop. So, we have uh, almost 330 uh, remote centers now across the country where uh, uh, participants uh, attend these workshops. So, those are the statistics, uh, 85,000 participants and uh, I am sorry not 330, but 342 remote centers across the country. Now, what is the methodology that we use uh, to conduct these workshops? For one thing, we identify institutes across the country. Uh, we have reached a certain number 342 already and uh, uh, these uh, remote centers have been, uh, I am really grateful to them, they have been partnering us steadfastly throughout these three years and have been our 
very very uh, strong uh, partners I would call them in uh, this entire workshop. So, uh, we have identified remote centers across the country which are uh, good institutes which uh, have uh, good academics, a good faculty and most importantly a good infrastructure. Uh, we appoint a remote center coordinator at the remote center who uh, normally takes care of all the logistics that is uh, necessary for conducting such a kind of a workshop. And we also ask for uh, a workshop coordinator during every workshop who is a subject expert. Now, this person will be uh, helping the participants at uh, the remote center during the workshop. So, these two are the key uh, figures at the uh, remote centers. Now, the main workshop uh, is uh, held during the vacations and uh, we hope that it benefits a large number of teachers. And uh, another important thing that I would like to tell you is that uh, the uh, T10KT project under the NME ICT also funds the uh, you know the conduct of the workshop at the uh, remote center. So, there is no burden upon the uh, institute to conduct these workshops. Uh, after the two week workshop is uh, transmitted from IIT Bombay, we expect the uh, participants to uh, take part in some final assignments, some kind of uh, team activity and uh, it is only then that we uh, issue them an IST certificate of participation. IST here stands for the Indian Society for Technical Education and they are also our partners in this venture. And uh, as I have said before, we publish all the contents like the slides that are used by the faculty, the assignments that have been submitted by the participants, the lecture videos and also the quizzes and uh, other things on our portal. And these uh, uh, contents are completely free, you can download them, you can use them in your classroom. Uh, teaching. In fact, we encourage that. Uh, I have already talked about AVU before. This is uh, one of our key, uh, uh, key features in our entire uh, uh, project. Uh, if AVU was not there, I, I wonder how we could have really reached out to so many teachers at a time. Uh, another uh, key feature uh, in our uh, project is the Moodle. This is the free uh, uh, free source e-learning software platform. It is easily available on the internet. You can uh, download it and start using it in your own uh, institute. Now, this is our uh, interface for our synchronous uh, uh, sorry asynchronous kind of a uh, interaction. Uh, there, there are uh, forums, there are uh, uh, the, the place where this is the place where the faculty poses uh, all kinds of questions to the uh, um, uh, participants. The participants themselves can ask questions, they can interact with each other and uh, also all our uh, notices like uh, schedules or uh, any notice regarding a change of uh, schedule or a new quiz or feedback etcetera. Everything is uploaded onto the uh, uh, Moodle and this is, an, uh, this is a very, very important interface for us to use when especially when uh, the number of participants has grown so significantly earlier in 2009-2010 uh, we used to have students like uh, I mean we used to have teachers at uh, the number used to be about 300-400 for one uh, workshop, but uh, after uh, 2012 the number has grown significantly and uh, I mean it is not quite possible for the faculty at IIT Bombay to uh, handle questions from the participants through AVU all the time. So, uh, th this interface we found very, very useful for uh, interacting with our uh, participants. Uh, another important feature of our uh, entire T10KT program is the use of the clicker uh, software. Now, this uh, software is again a open source software and it can be used in a um, classroom uh, for a variety of uh, things that a teacher does in the classroom. Uh, 
these this can be used for an inter uh, instant quiz it can be used to have a poll i mean the teacher can use a clicker to find out whether the students have uh, understood a certain problem or a topic uh, the teacher can definitely indulge in uh, paperless assessment the it's a small uh, it can be converted into a small handheld device i mean it ha it can be ported the software can be ported upon uh, uh, even a mobile phone so uh, the assessment the entire interaction is totally paperless and that is something again that we uh, encourage and uh, the student can uh, virtually uh, raise his or her hand asking uh, the teacher a query and even if it's a large classroom and the teacher is not able to see the student the fact that uh, that student has pressed a button on his or her uh, device the signal has gone to the teacher and the teacher can easily understand that there is somebody here who needs to ask a question so that was the uh, clicker uh, features and uh, we have used it extensively on the akash tablet uh, we have uh, given out akash tablets to almost all our uh, remote uh, centers and uh, we have got uh, very positive feedback about the tablet uh, saying that they have been using it uh, for their uh, the uh, final year projects of the students as well as as a clicker device now this is the data analysis of uh, clicker in workshops we have used the clicker uh, to conduct quizzes in nine ist workshops so far you have the uh, data in front of you and at presently uh, at present i am sorry at present uh, 79 remote centers are extensively using the clicker in daily uh, classroom uh, interaction and there are almost 5000 almost 6000 students who are uh, using uh, the clicker in a very regular fashion now i come to some findings uh, since we have conducted this workshop for almost uh, this project for almost three years now and uh, we have uh, people working on uh, various aspects uh, covered by the, these uh, workshops we found that uh, very interestingly 30 to 45 percent of the uh, participants are women now the fact that these uh, workshops are conducted uh, in their own colleges uh, women find it easier to attend from their own uh, institutes instead of traveling uh, all the way to say either iit bombay or some uh, other metro city so our uh, focus has been to create more and more remote centers and really remote areas where uh, participants find it difficult to get out of their uh, own institutes uh, and attend go and attend a workshop somewhere else so uh, and especially women with families and children it is uh, always easier that uh, the lady attends the workshop in her own institute uh, we've also found that uh, during our uh, workshops there's a lot of collaboration and interaction amongst participation of uh, participants of different institutes across the country in fact uh, you have participants coming from other colleges to a certain remote center and there they form teams and uh, i have been told uh, by people that i meet after the workshop that we are still in touch we still uh, you know exchange notes about teaching we exchange notes about uh, various research uh, topics and things like that so we are uh, really br building uh, bridges across India through our project. Uh, these are uh, some of the uh, upcoming workshops in the next uh, six months or so. We are planning uh, a course on uh, pedagogy in uh, January 2015. Uh, it will be uh, conducted by Professor Sahana Murthy and uh, Professor Sridhar Iyer and uh, iit kharagpur has already uh, announced its uh, two week workshop on control systems uh, and uh, we are also planning a new course called engineering mathematics or mathematics for engineering students which we thought was very very essential uh, in today's uh, uh, educational scenario so uh, that 
month is also upcoming. We are yet to finalize the details about the faculty and uh, the dates, etcetera, but uh, you will be hearing from us soon. Now, so after two th 2009, after the second phase, I would like to tell you a little bit more about what is our status quo. We are in the second phase, uh, which started in 2012. The mandate from MHRD is that we hold 15 workshops in three years and that we reach out to 1,50,000 teachers in these three years. Uh, we have also uh, tied up with IIT Kharagpur and uh, so far IIT Kharagpur has conducted three workshops and IIT Bombay has conducted seven. And uh, the very uh, logical uh, movement for our workshop, for our project, the workshop project now is to turn towards MOOCs, where uh, from teaching uh, say 10,000 teachers or 1,50,000 teachers or whatever, from uh, a number that seems uh, unreal uh, when we are talking about uh, teaching in a real classroom. Uh, we are now moving even further on on this uh, particular journey and we are going into something called the MOOCs. I am sure most of you have heard about MOOCs here. So, let me tell you something more about MOOCs. Uh, MOOCs the full uh, form is massive open online courses and these are courses which are offered on the internet and uh, these are offered by faculty from very reputed institutes. And uh, this is a fairly recent concept uh, in the field, it is barely uh, I think 2 years or 3 years since uh, the whole thing has started. Uh, in uh, the world, the most uh, uh, prominent MOOC providers are the edX, the company edX which was founded by MIT and Harvard and then there is Coursera which is which was founded by professors from Stanford. And Udacity, which was founded again by professors from Stanford. These are the three major MOOC providers in the world. Now, in uh, 2013, IIT Bombay uh, has uh, collaborated with edX. We have joined them as a chartered member. So, this year we are offering two courses on edX, which are called CS101X and ME209X. These are actual courses which are uh, held in IIT Bombay. Uh, uh, CS 101 uh, is uh, being offered by professors uh, Fatak and uh, Suprati Chakrabarti in IIT as well simultaneously and they are also being offered on the edX platform for a worldwide global kind of an audience and uh, there are about uh, I think uh, 80,000 uh, participants already for CS101X and ME209X is another uh, very popular course. Uh, we had also already uh, offered it on in the T10KT project that is the thermodynamics uh, workshop. Now, thermodynamics is taught in IIT Bombay. Uh, the course title is ME209X and that is what is being taught simultaneously on edX as well by Professor Gaitonde. Now, about the edX platform, it is an again an open source platform and it is uh, in IIT Bombay, there is a lot of work that is going on to modify it to suit the uh, Indian uh, education system. Uh, edX has been gracious enough to give us their source code, so that we can modify it for our own system. Uh, as I said, uh, development work on the open edX is in process, then uh, the platform is being localized to suit the Indian university system. We hope that uh, there will be a lot of uh, courses, uh, not just in engineering, but in other faculties as well like the art, science and uh, management especially from reputed universities, which will be offered uh, on this uh, Indianized platform to Indian uh, students. And we are also hoping that uh, various universities across the country will join us and uh, maybe there will be a situation where uh, the student takes the course on uh, uh, say I mean for the uh, lack of a name right now we call it the Indian uh, MOOCs. Uh, 
uh, he or she takes a course in uh, Indian MOOCs, fulfills all the requirements, gets a certified certificate and uh, sorry a verified certificate and that certificate can be used as a replacement for a particular uh, course taught in a particular university. We are hoping that uh, such, uh, such a development will uh, definitely take place in the future. Uh, this Indian MOOCs is also uh, focusing upon uh, as I said Indianization and here Indian, Indianization means that these courses will be available in regional languages. Now this is something that uh, requires a lot of work and a lot of innovation. So uh, we are hoping that we would be able to do something at least immediately in at least Hindi and another uh, regional language. So, these are our future plans for uh, the MOOCs uh, activity. We have also uh, been working on something called the blended MOOCs. Now, the MOOCs is an entirely online internet kind of an activity, but uh, when we are talking about blended MOOCs, we are hoping to uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, make a uh, uh, composition of online as well as offline activity. So, there will be some sort of a online uh, face to face interaction between the teacher and the student and there will be uh, an offline activity where the student uh, looks at videos, listens to a lecture and then uh, only asks uh, doubts or clarifications in the uh, face to face uh, session. Now, that is uh, something again that we are working on. We did uh, try something like this in our uh, uh, teacher training workshop. We uh, tried a combination of face to face interaction and online activities for training a large number of teachers in a short time. And uh, we tried that with our computer programming and uh, computer networking workshops under the T10KT. Uh, I am not yet very sure about how successful they were, but it was a it was an experiment that uh, will need a lot of refinement still in the future. And uh, we are definitely working on that and uh, I take this opportunity to ask uh, uh, some of you may have attended our uh, computer programming and computer networking courses which use the blended model for T10KT. So, I uh, really appeal to them to come forward with suggestions or uh, feedback as to how uh, they uh, adjusted with this uh, blended model for the T10KT and if they have any suggestions, uh, we would definitely welcome them. Um, moving on, uh, these are the other uh, NME ICT projects at IIT Bombay, uh, spoken tutorial is again a huge phenomenon that has reached all over India. Amal Jyoti is I think also a spoken tutorial center. Then uh, talk to a teacher, the, uh, the project where uh, you have a panel of uh, expert faculty members from uh, various uh, IITs interacting with students through AVU uh, for a particular uh, subject. And, uh, uh, these are the resolving the doubt sessions, e Antra, the embedded systems project and FOSSI of course, the free and open uh, software uh, project. e Kalpa is the design project which is run by the uh, IDC in uh, the industrial design center in IIT Bombay and uh, we also have a, a project going on on the virtual labs. This is a project which is shared by uh, which is divided across the IITs. So, IIT Delhi and IIT Bombay are doing the uh, virtual labs. So, uh, that brings uh, me to the end of uh, my presentation on uh, the NME ICT projects at IIT Bombay and most particularly, most specifically the T10KT program that is uh, running successfully at uh, IIT Bombay. And I would like to say a huge thank you to NME ICT for giving us this opportunity to conduct uh, these workshops, Amrita University for the AVU of course and Indian Society for Technical Education for collaborating with us for the certification and most importantly, most importantly all the remote centers which are our partners in this huge venture.
Thank you very much.